Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel. This video we will continue with our REST API series. And now we will see how we can create new entry inside our Django database using Python request library. So you know what, Why we since we can create new item from here, why do we need to create from request? And this is what I will show you what is the advantage. If you want to create many different entries in one shot here you can actually automate that process which here you need to manually come and create one by one and uh, that is actually quite long process that's we don't want to follow that correct that's what we want to automate things because we are python guys so let's just go and create data so for that let's just create a function and that function will be post i mean let's just say create new and in that create new uh i mean we will see a lot of things same let's just copy from get so inside user list since in user list we have post so we can create new user from here authentication token is required let's just say request instead of get we will use post and uh, post but it post required data and data equals to data and data is not exist don't worry we will create this data so data is this so one thing that you should notice this is we created here uh, I mean okay we missed one comma here so right now the data is empty let's just just try that and we'll see that what Python tell us so response dot text and print this okay let's just go and execute create new okay run this and you know so you are providing nothing there blank something like this and if you hit post same result you will see here because that's what the rest api is doing it's both parallel here we are doing inside chrome and here we are doing at python level so for example let's just go and copy few fields like this and paste here okay let's just uh, send this information and definitely we will see a error because you are not supposed to add same ids twice let's just see the error first and we are seeing a django error here here you can see that post is failed because you cannot use the same unique constraint field you have to use the unique item correct so that means here we, we need to add something else if we can add here for example we have one two three let's just add four and run and you can see that four entry is already added run and here we have already a four but you see that we just created this uh, new entry here through python but the thing is if the name is actually same which is exist here but we did not say anything we did not put any rule that name cannot be uh, name can be unique or can be same no problem okay the only problem is the id must be unique and this id is by default django handle that so that's why it's unique okay so then why we need to create this function something like this i will show you the biggest advantage of this so let's just take this uh, count and uh, let's just put this id here and this should be a f string and uh, let's just use count here and go back to create new and for each in range 20 
and uh, make sure it's E here and uh, let's see because they are we will receive error for four because two three one two three four is already exist so up to four we will receive error but after that we are able to see 16 new user okay let's just run this four error and after that you see that we are the users are creating here up to hq019 are created let's just refresh that and you can see that we already have all this information added inside our database here also you can come not here uh, let me just go back to our django database and go to database and uh, charm user and you can see that all entries are already done so this is very very useful if you have data somewhere in excel file and you want to import inside your django database you can actually create these rest apis and you can import that data using the request library and it's very easy is very useful if you can just go with that so that's what i say that and also uh, not just creating new even if you want to edit some of the information in a batch you can just directly execute these commands and it will really helpful okay so guys in this video we learn how we can create new item using rest uh, api and python request in my next video i will show you how you can update or manipulate this data using python request library okay i will see you in my next video